Um, we continue with the uh, hepatitis uh, uh, viruses. Uh, now we uh, talk about hepatitis uh, B virus uh, infections. The viral genome of hepatitis B virus consists of uh, a partially double-stranded DNA, usually with a short uh, and a single-stranded uh, piece. Uh, it comprises usually uh, 3,200 nucleotides, making it the smallest DNA virus uh, known. Uh, it's from the family hepatinoviruses. Uh, the main component of the virus include uh, the core hepatitis B core antigen and the pre-core hepatitis B E antigen, and uh, that indicate usually infectivity and replication. And the envelope of the virus contains the hepatitis B surface. Uh, antigen. Hepatitis B is usually asymptomatic or limited illness uh, with fever and jaundice for days to weeks. It becomes chronic in up to 10% of patients and it might lead to uh, liver cirrhosis and hepatocellular uh, carcinoma. Hepatitis B virus has uh, a DNA dependent uh, DNA polymerase and uh, uh, it has only uh, one serotype and there is a vaccine for hepatitis B. Uh, viruses. Uh, it usually has three different types of particles, the virions, the spheres, and the uh, filaments in hepatitis B uh, virus. Uh, for epidemiological and medical legal purposes, there are four strains of hepatitis B virus based on the serological subtyping of hepatitis B surface antigens into group specific, usually given the abbreviation A, and two sets of mutually exclusive sets of epitopes D or Y, uh, as well as W or R. So that gives us uh, four options. Uh, speaking of uh, hepatitis B uh, virus, uh, the, the epidemiology of hepatitis B virus distributed is worldwide. Uh, with an estimated uh, 2 billion people, uh, they have markers uh, of, of infection. Uh, there is more than 400 million people who have chronic infection with hepatitis B virus. So we have 400 million carriers uh, worldwide, and usually the uh, incidence of death from hepatitis B virus infection is usually 1 million death per year. Uh, hepatitis B virus, as we said before, it causes uh, what is known uh, as serum hepatitis. So the spread of this vi virus is either by the intravenous route in other words, the transfusion of infected blood or blood products, or by contaminated needles used by drug addicts, tattooists, uh, acupuncturists, or by close personal contacts, such as during sexual intercourse, particularly in male homosexuals. The virus can be found in uh, semen as well as the saliva. The vertical transmission have been documented from mother to child during uh, partuation or soon after birth is the usual mean of transmission worldwide. Needle stick injuries has resulted in higher risk uh, of hepatitis B, especially in the medical uh, personnel. The pathogenesis of hepatitis B virus often lead to uh, a piecemeal necrosis, more uh, currently called uh, interface hepatitis is a relatively common type of necrosis seen in hepatitis. It is characterized by inflammation extending from the portal uh, tract into the periportal zone with necrosis of periportal hepatocytes and disruption of the uh, limiting plate. The incubation period may be as brief as seven days or as long as uh, 160 days mean approximately usually 10 weeks. Hepatitis B virus can cause acute or chronic, symptomatic or asymptomatic disease. Which of these occur seems to be determined by the person's immune response to the infection. Acute hepatitis B is usually uh, uh, manifested by the gradual onset of fatigue, loss of appetite, nausea and pain and fullness in the right upper abdominal quadrant. Early in the course of the disease, pain and swelling of the joints and occasional frank arthritis uh, uh, may occur, antigen antibody complex uh, mediated. Some patients, they develop rash. With increasing involvement of the liver, there is increases cholestasis and uh, uh, hence clay colored stool and darkening uh, of the urine and jaundice. Symptoms may persist for several months before 
finally resolving. Fulminant hepatitis leading to extensive liver necrosis and death develop in less than 1% of affected uh, people with hepatitis B virus infection. Development of chronic hepatitis occur in approximately 10% of all patients with hepatitis B infection and hepatocellular carcinoma thereafter in up to 20% uh, uh, of the uh, patient. Progression to chronic disease is inversely related to the age of infection. Approximately 90% of infected uh, neonates, they become chronic carriers of hepatitis B virus infection. Uh, and be aware that the hepatocellular injury is due to the cytotoxic uh, T cell, while the antigen antibody complex, uh, they cause the arthritis and the vasculitis phenomena we talked about. As we said, about 5% uh, 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 become carrier, 90% of infected uh, neonates, they become chronic uh, uh, carriers. There is a high risk of hepatocellular uh, carcinoma and the hepatocellular carcinoma with hepatitis B virus infection usually results from the integration of the viral DNA uh, uh, into the uh, cellular uh, uh, DNA. And usually uh, the lifelong immunity uh, from uh, hepatitis B virus infection is conferred uh, through the hepatitis B surface uh, uh, antibody. <clears throat> in this slide, we could see hepatitis B uh, patients in their ecteric phase, uh, where jaundice can be seen uh, uh, with increasing involvement of, of the liver. There is increasing uh, cholestasis, and hence, uh, as we uh, mentioned earlier, clay colored stool darkening of the urine and, and jaundice. Symptoms may persist for several months before uh, they finally uh, uh, resolve. The, the uh, clinical presentation of hepatitis B virus in children is less severe than that of uh, adults, and infection may even be asymptomatic. Clinically apparent illness occur in as many as 25% of those infected with hepatitis B virus, with the majority, 90% of infected people, they recover, and usually recover uh, indicated by a decline in the fever and uh, uh, renewed uh, appetite. Uh, chronic hepatitis occur, as we said, in 5% to 10% of people infected with hepatitis B virus, usually after mild or an apparent uh, initial disease. Approximately one third of these people uh, will have chronic active hepatitis uh, with continued destruction of the liver, leading to scarring of the liver and cirrhosis and liver failure or primary hepatocellular carcinoma. The other two-thirds, they will have uh, chronic passive hepatitis that are less likely to have problems. Chronic hepatitis may be detected accidentally by finding elevated liver enzymes level on the routine blood chemistry profile. Uh, chronically infected people, they are the major source of spread of the virus and they are at risk of uh, fulminant disease if they become co-infected with hepatitis D virus. Fulminant hepatitis occur in approximately 1% of ecteric patients, and uh, it might be uh, fatal in those uh, patients. In addition, how we diagnose hepatitis B virus uh, infection, in addition to the clinical picture uh, uh, that described earlier and the liver uh, chemistry test, uh, uh, as we said, uh, ALT, AST, alkaline phosphatase, total bilirubin, all of them, they can be find uh, elevated. Serology can, they, can be relied upon for the diagnosis of hepatitis B virus infection. Almost all patients who, who develop jaundice, they, uh, they show uh, anti-hepatitis B core uh, uh, antigen uh, IgM positive and at the time of clinical uh, present, uh, presentation. Hepatitis B surface antigen may also be detected in the, in the serum. Past infection, usually with hepatitis B, is best determined by detecting IgG anti-hepatitis B core uh, uh, antigen as well as anti-hepatitis uh, B surface or both. Uh, HPV viral DNA, it's the most accurate marker of viral DNA and they can be detected by polymerase uh, chain reaction. And uh, finally, a liver biopsy to determine the grade of inflammation and the stage of fibrosis, uh, especially in the chronic hepatitis uh, uh, patients. In this slide, we could see the typical serology of uh, HPV uh, infection, where the laboratory diagnosis of acute hepatitis B is best made by demonstrating the IgM antibody to hepatitis B core antigen 
in the uh, serum. So uh, uh, in, 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 in brief, hepatitis B surface antigen used as a general marker of infection, and more than six months, if it stays high, it uh, uh, indicates chronic uh, hepatitis. Hepatitis B surface antibody is used to document recovery and or immunity to hepatitis B virus uh, infection. Uh, 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 talking about the hepatitis B core uh, uh, antigen, anti-hepatitis B core IgM is a, a marker for acute infection, while anti-hepatitis B core antigen IgG is uh, uh, an indication of past or uh, chronic uh, infection. Uh, and uh, finally, the hepatitis B uh, E antigen, the envelope, indicate uh, active replication of the virus uh, therefore, infectiveness and anti-hepatitis B E virus no longer uh, replicating. However, the patient can still be positive for hepatitis B surface antigen, which is made by the integrated hepatitis B virus. As we talked, the uh, uh, DNA of hepatitis B virus indicate active replication of the virus, and it's more accurate than the hepatitis B E antigen, especially in cases uh, of escape uh, mutants, use, used mainly uh, uh, for monitoring uh, response uh, uh, to, to therapy. Um, here, another slide where we could see the four major clinical entities that is associated with the typical uh, HPV serology uh, results. As we said, in the acute uh, disease, hepatitis B surface antigen and hepatitis B core antibody, uh, they become uh, positive. Uh, in the window period where there is, uh, you can detect both hepatitis B surface antigen uh, nor hepatitis B uh, surface antibody, uh, uh, while at the same time hepatitis B core antibody, they are uh, positive. Uh, in the chronic carrier uh, state of HPV, hepatitis B surface antigen and hepatitis B core antibody, IgG uh, type, they are uh, positive and incomplete uh, recovery hepatitis B surface antigen they become negative while hepatitis B core antibody and hepatitis B surface antibody they are uh, uh, positive. Uh, another table showing uh, other interpretations of uh, the typical serology of HPV infection, not in, 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 in immunization, post-HPV uh, immunization, only the hepatitis B surface antibody is positive, while other markers, they are uh, negative in comparison to uh, past infection uh, category. Um, there is no specific treatment for acute hepatitis B, and a high-calorie diet is uh, desirable. Uh, corticosteroid therapy has no value in uncomplicated acute viral hepatitis, and for chronic hepatitis, interferon alpha, they provide the long-term benefit, usually uh, in one-third of uh, the, the uh, patients. Uh, Lamivudine uh, is a potent inhibitor of uh, HIV, is also active versus hepatitis B, uh, virus, both in vitro and initial clinical uh, trials, uh, but resistance is to this agent develops in about one quarter of the patients after 12 months of, of uh, therapy. That leaves us with uh, adifovir as well as uh, uh, adifovir as well as antikavir. Uh, those are nucleotide analog adenosine monophosphate, and they are newly approved for the treatment of chronic hepatitis. Uh, B. Uh, that leaves us with the safe practices and avoidance of needle stick injuries, especially for the medical personnel or injection uh, uh, drugs uh, abusers uh, who use uh, 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 they are the approaches uh, that can be used to uh, diminish the risk of hepatitis B uh, infection. Vaccination uh, is highly effective against HPV uh, infection. Uh, the available recombinant uh, vaccines uh, uh, the vaccine can be given uh, to those who are at in increased risk of HPV infection, such as the healthcare uh, worker. It's also given routinely to neonates in, in, in many countries. Uh, hepatitis B uh, immunoglobulin uh, may be used to protect persons who are exposed to hepatitis B. It's particularly uh, efficacious uh, within uh, 48 hours uh, of the incidence post 
prophylaxis post uh, post exposure. It may be also given to neonates who are at increased risk of uh, contracting uh, hepatitis. Other measures, they include screening of blood donors as well as uh, the blood itself and other body uh, fluids. Uh, here in Jordan, uh, we have uh, the uh, hepatitis B virus as part of the Mat'oum uh, Sudasi. We have three uh, drugs. بالعادة الشهر الثاني والثالث والرابع وإذا إحنا بدنا نشوف إذا الإنسان مطعم لهبتايتس بي فيروس زي ما حكينا we check the uh, response by measuring anti-hepatitis B surface antigen antibodies uh, uh, usually uh, if it's more than uh, 10 ml 10 ml international uh, unit uh, is, is, is protective Um, so we check the, the response uh, uh, post vaccination uh, uh, of hepatitis B virus by checking uh, the um, level of uh, uh, anti hepatitis B surface antigen antibodies. And if it's more than uh, 10 million international units per mil, usually it is uh, protective. Um, we talk as well briefly on hepatitis D virus, uh, delta hepatitis, uh, which is caused by the hepatitis D virus. This is a small single-stranded RNA virus that requires the presence of hepatitis B surface antigen for its transmission and is thus found only in persons with acute or chronic hepatitis B infection. Delta hepatitis is most prevalent in group at high risk of hepatitis B injection drug users, and as many as 50% of such individuals uh, may have IgG antibody to the Delta virus antigen. Uh, other risks include uh, uh, dialysis. Two major types of Delta infection, they have been noted. Uh, simultaneously, Delta and Hepatitis B infection. Simultaneous inf infection with both Delta and Hepatitis B result in clinical hepatitis that is indistinguishable from acute Hepatitis A or, or B. However, fulminant Hepatitis is much more common than with Hepatitis B virus alone. Delta super infection in those with chronic hepatitis B, persons with chronic hepatitis B who acquire infection with hepatitis D suffer relapse of jaundice and have a high likelihood of developing chronic cirrhosis. Diagnosis is made uh, most commonly by this demonstrating IgM or IgG antibodies or both to the uh, Delta antigen in the serum. IgM antibodies appear within three weeks of infection and persist for several weeks. IgG antibodies, they persist for uh, uh, years. Uh, response to treatment with interferon alpha in patients with Delta hepatitis and uh, hepatitis B is less than those with hepatitis B alone. And the recommended uh, doses, they are higher and uh, may produce sustained improvement and only uh, a quarter of the of the patients uh, because uh, the capsid of delta hepatitis is hepatitis b surface antigen uh, measured uh, aimed at limiting the transmission of hepatitis b to prevent the transmission of delta hepatitis individual infected with hepatitis b or d should not donate blood organ tissues or semen and methods uh, of reducing transmission include decreased use of contaminated needles and syringes by injection drug users and use of needle safety devices by health care workers. Um, finally, we talk about the hepatitis C virus. Hepatitis C virus is an RNA virus in the flavivirus uh, family. It has a very simple genome consisting just of three structural and five non-structural uh, genes. Hepatitis C is an insidious uh, disease in that it does not usually cause a clinically evident acute illness. Instead, its first manifestation in about one quarter of those infected may be the presence of smoldering chronic hepatitis that may ultimately lead to liver failure. 
a transmission is less well understood than for hepatitis A, B, and D. Hepatitis C was the major cause of post-transfusion hepatitis until a serologic test for screening blood donors was uh, developed. HCV has at least six genotypes and multiple subtypes, hypervariable regions in the envelope glycol protein, uh, and it's called uh, quasi species. The transmission of hepatitis C is by blood is well documented. Indeed, until screening uh, uh, blood for, tr for transfusions uh, was introduced, it caused the great majority of cases of post-transfusion hepatitis. Hepatitis C may be sexually transmitted, but to a much lesser degree than hepatitis B. Needle sharing accounts for up to 40% of the cases. Uh, for example, in the United States, uh, uh, 3.5 million uh, people have antibody to hepatitis. C and screening uh, of donor blood uh, for antibody has uh, reduced the post transfusion uh, of hepatitis uh, C by 80 to 90 percent. Other individuals considered at risk of hepatitis C, they are chronic hemodialysis patients as well as uh, spouses. Um, uh, in this slide, we could see the, the outcome of uh, hepatitis C virus infection. First of all, the incubation period of hepatitis C, they average between 6 to 12 weeks. The infection is usually asymptomatic or mild and anecteric, but result in a chronic carrier state in up to 85% of adults uh, of, of, of the patients. The average time from uh, infection to the development of chronic hepatitis is years, 10 to 18 years, and cirrhosis and hepatocellular carcinoma, they are late sequelae of chronic hepatitis. Uh, antigens to, of hepatitis C, they are not detectable in blood, so diagnostic tests, they attempt to demonstrate antibody in hepatitis C virus infection. Unfortunately, the antibody response in acute disease remain negative for one to three weeks after clinical onsets and may never become positive in up to 20% of patients with acute resolving disease. Current test measure antibodies to multiple hepatitis C antigen by either uh, enzyme immune assays or immune blot. Even uh, with the uh, newer assays, IgG antibody to hepatitis C may not develop for up to four months, making the serodiagnosis of acute hepatitis C very difficult. Quantitative assays of hepatitis C RNA may be used for diagnosis, estimating prognosis, predicting interferon responsiveness, and monitoring uh, therapy. But there is not very good correlation between the viral load and the histology. Combination therapy with interferon alpha and ribavirin is the current treatment of choice for patients uh, with the evidence of hepatitis due to hepatitis C, and corticosteroids, they are not beneficial in hepatitis C uh, uh, infection. Um, Hepatitis C uh, virus prevention relied upon avoidance of injection uh, drug use and screening the blood products. Uh, they are impro important uh, preventive uh, measures. It is not clear whether prophylactic immune serum globulins, they protect against hepatitis C. In addition, it is questionable whether a vaccine will be effective. Uh, uh, there is none yet for hepatitis C virus, and patient may be reinfected by the wild type virus. Here is uh, uh, preventive uh, measures that uh, uh, should be uh, taken care of with uh, patients uh, when dealing with patients uh, of hepatitis C uh, virus. Uh, this is a table that could be of uh, high value, especially for you as, as a medical personnel, as it explains uh, the post-exposure prophylaxis of different uh, uh, scenarios. 